In this part of section 1.2, we will talk about percentages and pie charts. In mathematics, the word of implies multiplication. Recall, to convert uh, from a percent to a decimal, we can either divide by 100 or you can move the decimal to, to the left twice. To convert from a decimal to a percent, we can either multiply by 100 or we can move the decimal to the right twice. Here are some examples. 435 people take a survey. 68% of the respondents claim they have had a supernatural experience. Approximately how many people claim that they have had a supernatural experience? Now let's think about this. 68% of all the respondents, now how many respondents do we have? We have 435 respondents. The word of implies multiplication. Okay, so if, you want to if we want to find out what is 68% of 435, we would take 435 and we would multiply it by 68%. However, we would first have to convert 68% into a decimal. We can do this by dividing by 100 or we can move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So if you take 68%, move the decimal two spaces to the left, that will give you 0 0.68 or 0 0.68. If we multiply 435 times 0 0.68, we get 295.8. Now we can't have 0.8 of a person, so we're going to round up, and approximately 296 people claim they have had a supernatural experience. So when we want a percentages, percentage of something, we would multiply the percent in decimal form times the total. The second example, please try by yourself, and we will go over this in class. Among 435 people who took a survey, 48 claim that they have seen a ghost. Now we want to find out what percent of respondents claim to have seen a ghost. Okay, so we have 48 people out of a total of 435. So to figure out the percentage, we would take the number of people and divide it by the total, 48 out of 435. So 48 divided by 435, this will give us 0 0.11034. But we want to find the percentage. To convert from a decimal to a percent, we would take the decimal and move it two spaces to the right, or we can multiply by 100. Either way, we'll get the same answer. So if you move the decimal point to the right twice, or multiply by 100, this will be 11.034%. Now the, the question says round to the nearest tenth. Tenth means one decimal. So we have 11 point. Since we're rounding to the first decimal, we look at the number after the first decimal. If that number is five or higher, we round up. If it's four or lower, the number remains the same. In this case, because this number after the, the tenth place is four or lower, the zero will remain the same, and this will give us 11.0%. Number two, please do by yourself, and we will go over this in class. Now let's talk about pie charts. Marissa splits up her time exercising into four parts, uh, walking, basketball, swimming, bowling, and jogging. Wait, that's one, two, three, four, five parts. So let's change this to five parts. OK. Um, if Marissa exercised a total of 180 minutes last week, how many minutes did she spend jogging? OK, so the total is 180 minutes. Out of that 180 minutes, 15% is spent jogging. So what's 15% of 180? Remember the word of implies multiplication. We would take the total number of minutes that she exercised, which is 180. Of that, 15% she spent jogging. So we would multiply 180 times 0.15, which is a decimal representation of 15%. And 180 times 0.15, this will be 27 minutes.
Okay, please do the second uh, part by yourself and we will go over this in class. Here's another example. Leo divided this month's expenditure into four categories, rent, food, fun, and other. So part A, how much money in total did Chris spend this month? All right, where did Leo and Chris, does, does this person have two names? I don't know. Let's change this to Leo. How much money in total did Leo spend this month? Okay, so Leo spent a total of 244 plus 306 plus 367 plus 183. Okay, and make sure we include the units. If we add all these up, um, Leo spent a total of $1,100. Okay, when we think about percentages, we do want to we would do want to consider the total. Okay, now approximate the percent of total spending devoted to food. Okay, so he spent two hundred forty four dollars on food, and he spent eleven hundred dollars total. So so to find the percentage that Leo spent on food, we would take the amount spent on food divided by the total amount of his expenses. So if we take two forty four divided by 1100 this is going to be 0.2218 okay um, but this is decimal form we want the percent so you take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the right or we could simply multiply by 100 either way we would get 22.18 percent now this says round to the nearest percent that means we want to round to um, the ones place the number after the one pl one's place is a one, this number here. Since that's four or lower, we would keep this at 22%. Approximate the uh, percent of total spending devoted to fun. So do this one by yourself, and we will go over that in class.